at six, fruit and vegetable farmers in western North Carolina fear the floods have destroyed their crops. 7 News reporter Stephanie Borman is live this evening at Johnson Family Farms in Flat Rock, North Carolina. And Stephanie, if the crops are ruined, that's got to mean prices are going to go up on fruits and vegetables. Well, the flood waters have started to recede, as you can see, which is great because they'll be able to assess the crops, but there is a chance that the flood waters contaminated them. Rows and rows of crops at Johnson Family Farms jeopardized by the nonstop rain that flooded Flat Rock. I mean, it's hard because that was our first crop, our first planting of it. Now, we usually do more planting so that we can make profit later, but this first crop was kind of ruined. The first round of heavy rains caused this farmer to take losses on the onion harvest. Then subtropical storm Alberto hit, potentially drowning the remaining fruits and vegetables in nearly three feet of water. Now it's a waiting game for this farmer as they wait for the ag office to test the crops and determine if they are contaminated. There was no fruit on the plant, so that's a good sign for us, but still she'll come out and tell us if we need to go ahead and rip it all up. But um, we're looking at most likely majority we will have to take up except for the flowers that we have. The loss of harvest means frequent shoppers are going to see a rise in prices since Johnson Family Farms will have to purchase goods rather than growing them, at least for now. Still, the family-owned stand has another harvest on Mills River they are hoping wasn't affected, which is very likely according to the owners of Skytop Orchard. We fared a lot better than the lower elevations where the valleys, where the water collects as far as producing uh, crops. David Butler says the water didn't collect here, but it is still preventing him from accessing the orchard, delaying much needed harvest preparations. Spray and cut and hand thin the apples. The Henderson County Agriculture Office is estimating more than a million dollars in loss of crops, and that number could continue to rise as they continue to do their assessments. Reporting live, Stephanie Borman, 7 News.